want to show you something kind of cool with a little piece of my childhood. Of course, I'm talking about Pokemon cards. You ever play Pokemon? Yeah, when I was younger. There is one card when I was a kid that everyone always wanted, and oh, there it is right there. The rare holographic Charizard card. Now we're gonna set these down for just a moment. Now I'm gonna try to do something kind of cool with just this one card here. Let's see if I can get it to balance. Right on my hand, just like, oh, sometimes it falls over. Sorry, let me try again. See how it stands right back up again? Can I borrow your hand just like this? Yeah, I just sure. want to show you real quick that there's nothing above, nothing below, nothing around that Charizard, and yet, just the wave of the hand, it floats right off of your hand and into mine. Wow. I don't know if you could see, if you look really close. Can you see the name of the attack right there? Uh, yeah, it says Fire Spin. Fire Spin. You want to see Fire Spin? Check this out. It flies right through a flaming hoop, and right back up to my hand. Now, if I could do that with just one card, I should be able to do it with the whole deck of cards, right? So we have a whole bunch of Pokemon cards here. I'm gonna give these just a little mix and have you pick one at random. Don't show it to me, but show it to the camera so everyone at home can see. Mm. That one there, perfect. Look at that card, remember it. Let me know when I can come back. Yes. Good? Yeah. We'll go ahead and take that card there and I'm gonna lose it into the deck just like this. Now there was a Pokemon that was one of my favorite ones growing up as a kid. His name was Kadabra. He could actually move objects without even touching them just like this. And I think right about there is one card and you can go ahead and take a look at that card and hopefully wow. that is your 